Hello everyone, my name is Lohana Dolly. I am English teacher of Maharaja Angresan International School. Today we are discussing a poem, The Arrow and the Song, written by Henry Wordsworth Longfellow. This is an imaginary poem written by the poet and it was published in the year 1985. So, uh, the poem is an uh, imaginary poem about the words that we speak and the polite words which come in written to us and the harsh words that we speak. So, the poem is like, I shot an arrow into the air, it flew to the earth, I knew not where. For so swiftly it flew the sight, could not follow it in the flight. So, a boy in this poem, suppose we are uh, expecting here is a boy or here is a man who has uh, shot an arrow into the air and it flew high in the sky but he does not know where it went. So, I knew not where. I knew not where means the poet or the man is not knowing where did the arrow went. Next he says, for so swiftly it flew the sight, could not follow it in the flight. So, swiftly means quickly. Swiftly means quickly. So, so quickly it flew out, uh, out of his sight. It went away from out of the sight of the uh, man and he could not follow it in the flight. Flight in this up high in the sky, he could not follow where the arrow went. The second paragraph is, I breathed a song into the air, it flew to the earth, I knew not where. Again, knew not where means the uh, man does not know where the song went. For who has sight so knee and strong that is can follow the flight of a strong. So, in the second uh, stanza, the poet is saying, uh, he, the man is uh, singing a song. Singing a song means it is a please and polite word that we are speaking with someone. So, the uh, uh, song it went into the air and it fell down again to the earth but I don't know where. Same way, for, for us to the sight or so knee and strong, who has the strong sight? Who has the strong sight to see where the song went? Next, that is uh, Ken could follow the flight of a song. So, he does not know where is the landing, where is the flight of the song. In the third stanza, the, the main theme of the poem is uh, derived. Long, long afterwards in an oak, I found the arrow still unbroke. And the song from the beginning to the end, I found again in the heart of a friend. Here, oak is a type of tree. Oak is a type of tree. Unbroken means not broken. Unbroken means not broken. And the song from the beginning to the end, I found it in the heart of a friend. Long, long afterwards means, uh, mean mind, some mind later, the po uh, man in the poem find that arrow that he shot in the first stanza in an end of a oak tree it was there but it was not broken the arrow was still the same as it was in the uh, time of shooting the arrow so the arrow is still unbroken and thus in the second stanza when the man is singing a song and the song from the beginning to the end and from the very beginning when he started singing the song until the end the song is found in the heart of a friend so in this poem the theme of the poem is that the words that we speak should be wise that is we should have a control on the tongue that what we are speaking when we speak the harsh words or when we see, uh, speak the polite words harsh words are compared to as the shooting of a arrow in this poem while the polite words or the please words are uh, compared to the song in this poem the harsh word the the words that we speak come back to us in the written the whatever words we are speaking it does not go in vain they have a outcome result here it is uh, uh, compared with fell to the earth means an artificial thing is compared as, as a given as a human feeling that is it is a personification kind of uh, uh, kind of figure of speech personification means 
नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स आर गिवन एज अ ह्यूमन एलिमेंट मीन्स इट इज डिराइव हेयर दैट द इट फेल टू द अर्थ मीन्स द अर्थ इज अट्रैक्टेड बाय वॉट द एरो हैज बीन शॉर्ट सो सेम वे द हार्श वर्ड इज द समथिंग दैट वी से टू अ पर्सन इट गेट इन टू द हार्ट ऑफ द पर्सन हूम वी आर सेंग द अनकाइंड वर्ड्स सो इट कम्स टू रिटर्न टू अर्स नथिंग गोज इन वेन वैन वी आर स्पीकिंग एनी थिंग एंड सेम वे द in the uh, song also when we speak song or when we sing a song it is a polite word that we are saying to someone and it remains in the heart of the person till the time we are uh, singing and till the end it remains in the heart of a person so the central idea of the arrow and the song poem is that we should have a control on our tongue because everything we say comes to us in a written so we should be wise and we should have a control when we are speaking so we should always try to speak some polite words because everything comes to us in written and it gives a bad impact and a very harmful impact to what we have taught in earlier times so thank you so much